in this lesson, I want to introduce and address a bug that we currently have in our program. I introduced it intentionally without telling you in the previous lesson because this is one of the most common pitfalls with using use effect, so you have to be very careful. So what I want to do is open up the network tab in my browser. So I'm going to right click and then choose inspect. And then I'm going to click on the network tab. And as we'll see here, we have a whole bunch of requests going to our slash employees endpoint. In fact, it's increasing every single second. It doesn't seem to stop. So what we have here is an infinite loop. It is actually code that is going to run forever and it is due to a mistake that we have made in use effect. All right. So as I mentioned in the previous lesson, use effect is going to run at least once and that is going to occur after component render, right? What I did not mention is the additional scenarios under which use effect may run again. So by default, if we do not provide anything besides a function to use effect, then use effect is going to run upon any single state change in our component. So we have two pieces of state, search term and employees. So by default, this function or this effect will rerun every time a piece of state changes. So what's the problem here? Well, whenever we make our request with Axios, that's totally fine. But right here, we are getting that batch of employees, the original batch, and we are calling the set employees setter function and overriding that piece of state. And what does that do? That triggers the effect to run again because a piece of state has changed, the employee's piece of state. So what happens then is the effect runs again. We make another request. That's what we're seeing right here. We once again overwrite the employee's piece of state. And what does that do? That triggers the effect to run again, right? So it becomes an infinite process up until what we have right here where we are literally making 13,000 requests to our backend. So obviously this can be a super big problem in the real world if we start flooding our API with requests. So I want to show you how we fix this problem and then we'll talk about why the solution fixes the problem. So the solution here is to provide a second argument to use effect. So right after the callback function, make sure you place a comma before the final parentheses, but after the actual arrow function syntax. So right here, I'm gonna provide an argument of an empty array. Save that. Let me refresh the page. Let me clear this stuff. Let me refresh. And you'll notice right now, we are only making one request to slash employees. And that is exactly what we want. That is use effect still running once after the component render, but not rerunning. Okay, so why does an empty array solve our problem? So what the second argument to use effect represents is an array that's going to store all the pieces of state that use effect should monitor in order to rerun. So what we put in here in this array is valid piece of state. We have two right now, search term and employees. And what we're telling use effect is if anything we place in this array changes, then and only then do we want you to rerun use effect. So what does it mean to place an empty array? That means we are telling use effect, uh, there's no single piece of state uh, that, that changing that should trigger you to run again. We are basically not referencing any of our pieces of state here, including search term and employees. So we're telling use effect, don't run again after initial render. It's always gonna run at least once, right? And then it's only gonna run again if a piece of state changes and that piece of state must be within this array. So because we have an empty array, we have not designated any pieces of state that use effect should watch, and thus it will not run again ever, no matter what pieces of state actually change. It's always gonna run once, right? I just wanna make that very clear. Use effect will always run at least once after the uh, component renders, but when it runs again is going to be determined by the second argument, the array, that tells it what pieces of state it should watch in order to rerun. Because our array is empty, we are telling it there are no pieces of state that should trigger a rerunning of this effect. And that's why we're going to uh, solve this problem in our browser, okay? So we've kind of covered the starter scenario and the opposite. In the very beginning, we, we had an issue where we were running this code basically forever, right? And now we have a situation where we're only gonna run this code once after the component renders because no uh, piece of state is going to trigger this effect to run again. And of course, there's usually a middle ground where we want an effect to run once on render and then potentially again to run when a specific piece of state changes. And we're gonna learn more about that in 
the upcoming lessons, but this is really the, the complete syntax that you need to understand for use effect. The first argument is a function which represents some procedure to run, a side effect, and the second argument is an array representing the pieces of state that should trigger that function to rerun, okay, after the initial run, uh, which happens after the component renders. Once again, I apologize for the, the repetition, but it will always run at least once, and then it will run again whenever a piece of state referenced in this array uh, changes. All right, and we're gonna see that in the upcoming lesson. So I hope that makes sense. That is the entire API of views effect. That is all you need to know about this hook. All right, that's all there is to cover in this lesson. So I will see you in the next one.